We're joined in studio this evening by Finn Top. I'm told he's one of the program leaders for something called Satied, Satied, I'm not quite sure what it is. Uh, Southern Africa, Finn, help me out here. What is this, what is this about? SA Tide is a research program mm -hmm. that tries to interact with policy. We played around with the acronym. Mm -hmm. SA Tide both says something about Southern Africa, South Africa, and it says something about what's involved, namely inclusive development. Mm -hmm. And then there's a subtle line, which is that we really want people to be satired. <laughs> That's wonderful. And so tell me what it actually encompasses and entails. I mean, there, there are basically sort of three overall overriding characteristics of the program. One is that it's a collaboration between South and Southern African researchers and international researchers. So in other words, bringing different experiences and perspectives together in order to generate synergy. By synergy, that can then feed into the policy making process because the next layer of interaction is between the research community and the policy making community. If they work together, then they can generate better policies that can then improve the living conditions of people in South Africa and Southern Africa mm -hmm. in general. Mm -hmm. So that's sort of one very important aspect of this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another important aspect is that we try to use new data, new data that's becoming available because there are modern uh, information technologies, there are modern ways of treating data, bringing data to the table, mm -hmm. such that the researchers can use those in innovative ways that have not been possible before. Mm -hmm. When I studied, I used a hand calculator, <laughs> and it was actually a machine like this, right? So it took a long time to generate results, to generate the results of my calculations. Mm -hmm. This is very different today. Mm -hmm. So we're trying to use new data with new technology such that we can, in a much more fast and credible way, generating these results that can inform the policy making. Mm -hmm. And then there's a third dimension, we engage the young scholars, young people in the ministries, in the economic cluster in South Africa, because we want to try to help develop their skills. This is pretty obvious. I'm no longer 25. <laughs> really? I want to try to make sure that those youngsters, that they own their future and that they have the tools that they need to change the world. That's what it's about. Sounds very exciting. We've had all manner of um, tools in South Africa and policy making and we've had insight from um, international experts as well before but often the crux comes with implementation. How is this going to be different in your view? I implementation is, is a problem anywhere in the world. It's not something that is only for South Africa. Mm. You will always see that some of the recommendations you, you make might not be implemented but that's no excuse for not trying to generate new useful information. Sensible policymakers, they will use relevant evidence-based policy in their work when they can see the use of it. And that's why we bring policymakers and researchers together such that the research will actually be reflecting the needs of the policymakers. And in that sense, this program is different mm -hmm. because research just done in the abstract without relating to the end users that's where you end up having things that are not being used. How soon and when can we start measuring your output and the impact of this program? Are we, are we able to do that at this stage? Th this is a gradual process. We have already brought out a number of quite important studies mm. on a variety of issues that are uh, of importance in, 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 in today's policy making mm -hmm. in South Africa. Mm -hmm. <coughs> the employment challenge is critical. We know that. We are studying how enterprises can basically increase the employment intensity of their operations. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. As one example, sure. and this is already out there. Mm -hmm. We are also studying other aspects mm -hmm. of taxation. Mm -hmm. We are studying other aspects of inequality. Mm -hmm. We are studying climate, energy. It's pretty obvious to anybody who follows South mm -hmm. Africa that the energy climate mm -hmm. is going to become a major challenge to the uh, growth and development process. And thank you so much for your time. Join You're us. welcome. Thank you. Thank you.